I'm Rod Anderson. I'm Chief Recovery Officer for Recovery Coaching Scotland. Uh, we're the lead organisation for Borders in Recovery. Uh, I'm myself I'm in long-term recovery from alcoholism. I'm a bit of a recovery activist. Yeah, I think the evidence is there to show that um, that our consumption of alcohol is, is going down as a nation due to minimum unit pricing. And, and I think where we are with alcohol deaths um, it, it, is that we should be keeping our foot to the pedal around minimum unit pricing. Uh, we should absolutely not be thinking about doing away with it. Uh, we should be increasing it uh, and we should be treating what's going on in our country as a public health emergency. Um, so, so from our perspective, um, we need to keep it, we need to increase it, um, and we need to do more after that. Why, why should we, due to a health protection uh, measure, make uh, alcohol retailers and the alcohol industry more profitable? It just doesn't make any sense. In, in particular, in the backdrop of um, treatment services, uh, and ADPs and local areas that need more funding, uh, particularly around alcohol recovery pathways. So, um, first of all, that money sh should not be sitting with retailers. Secondly, the money should be diverted, and it should be diverted very specifically around alcohol treatment pathways, part of that being to support or the experience of people who've been impacted uh, by alcoholism and alcohol-related harms. <clears throat> and I think the other element of that is, is uh, families who are impacted, and I think families are very much forgotten in this dynamic. Uh, so I think that it needs to be threefold around treatment pathways, recovery community and lived experience and families. Um, we know how to do that. We've done it before. We should be doing it again.